Giggles, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming for you guys my July favourites video. It's actually halfway through the month. Um, we are currently on the 18th of July but um, I've spoken before about my financial situation because of moving and everything. I have barely any money so I'm 100% I'm not buying anything else this month so now is the ideal time to film um, because I already know what my favourites are. For this month i did film a june favorites video but i've said before my computer um i tried to delete files that i didn't need anymore um so put them in the bin whatever good to go and then i went to edit a video and i was like fuck where's my files everything was gone so i go back to the recycle bin the files aren't in there they are literally gone i didn't touch them when i was deleting these files everything else was still in the recycle bin but all my YouTube content was gone. So I've been saving loads of little bits to make like a blooper video, to make like a channel trailer, um, stuff like that. And everything's gone, which is fucking fantastic. So yeah, so no June favorites. I'm filming my July favorites. So it's a slightly bigger favorites than usual because I'm including the stuff from last month also. Um, yeah, I need to check the time. I'm running out of time. I just got sidetracked by Ken or Lady Valentine, uh, just did a live video. If you don't know who that is, she has Instagram, a YouTube, I think she has a Snapchat. I'm, mm, I'm not sure, I don't know. But Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, stuff like that. She just went live on Instagram, so had a little chat with her. She's so super lovely. So if you want to check out her videos, which I highly recommend, then I'll post her information below. Um, right, we are on to the favourites video. So, oh, the first thing I'm so happy about is a skirt from Anne Summers. Um, um, yes, there's loads of clothes in Anne Summers, and I don't know whether they're supposed to be like worn in the bedroom or just like worn out. So, I'll just fucking buy it, wear it, look cute. <laughs> so, this skirt um, was £25 and it's in their new in section, so it's going to be hard to show on camera because it is like this clear PVC stuff with faux leather um, sections so the, the waistband is faux leather and then it's got these panels down the, the front and the back and then the hem is also faux leather and across the front are these little tiny studs which is super cool and then it has one feature zip down the front of the skirt which is a functional zip. Um, so this was £25, but because I'm a student, I get, I think it's 10% off. Um, so it was a little bit cheaper, which is good. And I fucking love this. I'm going to post a clip of me wearing it now. Um, I haven't worn it out yet, as you can see, the tag's still on. I bought it to wear to Apocalypse, the goth alternative club night um, in Southampton. But I ran out of money and couldn't afford to go to Apocalypse, so that's fucking shit but I will definitely be going to the next apocalypse, so I will be wearing that out. It's either that or I have like a latex style dress, it's not actually latex um, dress that's like an underbust one, so you could wear like some kind of cute bralette or something with it and then wear that. I'm debating between which one to wear. I guess maybe I could just wear the skirt over the latexy dress thing, that could maybe be cool, I don't know. Anyway, so. I fucking love that skirt. There was so many cool clothes in there. There was this latex dress, right? It was like proper latex, not like faux latex. And um, I said to the lady, I was like, am I able to try this on? Because I don't know if it's gonna fit. It literally came in small, medium, large. Like, that's not helpful. So I was like, can I try this on? No, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to let you try it on. I was like, can I, can I see it out of the package? She was like, no. And so I go into the changing rooms, try on the other stuff, come back out, and she's literally put it back on the shelf. I was like, wow, cheers nice so wasn't getting that dress um so this dress is from primark it looks so wide on this camera holy shit this is a size eight my god sleeves all caught up wow yeah so it's a little size eight dress from primark and it's like a little bit oversized a bit cash it's like half sleeve with these ruffly um sleeve things kind of short I just thought it was very like Lolita not like Lolita fashion like Lolita the book the film that whole situation um thought it was cute it was like 
I want to say eight pounds, something like that. And I thought it would just be cute for the summer, especially where I've been doing um, work experience. It's something that's a little bit more normy to wear, so I bought that. Um, now we'll go for like skincare. So the first thing I only bought this a couple days ago, and it was on sale for two pound fifty, which is like, uh, yes. So um, if you've seen my empties video, I've been running out of all kinds of skincare stuff right now. So I picked up a couple of bits and I bought this Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Sensitive Anti-Blemish Clarifying Tonic. Holy fuck, say that three times. Uh, so this is for sensitive skin with imperfections. It's hypoallergenic and dermatologically tested. I don't know what that means, but it looks like this. It's got these fun bubbles in there, if you can see the fun bubbles. Um, so basically, use this twice a day in the morning and in the evening. You don't remove your makeup with this, like you'd remove your makeup, then you'd use this, and then you'd moisturise. So it's essentially a toner, and what it does, it tightens the pores, soothes the skin, and it's basically just supposed to remove little blemishes. So I don't know if you guys can see. You probably can. Um, I have quite a lot of blemishes at the moment like around here. Um, I think it's stress. I've been really, really stressed this month. Um, hormonal, like I said, I don't know if it was this video or my other video, like I've just come onto my period, so I'm so like hormonal, stressed. So I'm having some breakouts, so I'm hoping this is gonna help with that. So far, I really, really love it. I have been seeing an improvement in the past few days I've been using it, which sounds very optimistic, but um, so this spot here was freaking huge, like you could live on it. Um, and this has helped bring it down a lot, and I just feel like it's just made my skin nicer and it doesn't dry my skin out. I don't feel really horrible and tight after using it. Like it just is a nice, soft, gentle, product. So the next piece of skincare is a Skin Glow Mud Mask from Enspa. So they stock this in Asda and I believe they also have a website. I've spoken about Enspa before. I've used their moisturiser, their cleanse and polish and I really really love this. So um, it unblocks pores, purifies and clears skin. So you put this on, it's like a clay mud mask thing. Leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. I always leave it on for 20 because I need the extra help. Um, and it is this um, weird grey colour. Looks like this inside. That was like a black hole. No one's ever come out of that. It just smells like the spa. Like, I don't know how they do it. All their products just literally smell like a spa. Oh, I love it so much. I just love that smell. Um, there's it all like dried on the lid. Mm -mm. So yeah, me and my boyfriend both use this. I have dry skin, he has slightly more oily skin, and we both really, really love this face mask. So I would definitely recommend. Um, I think this usually is five pounds, but I got it when it was on offer for three. Um, I love it, will 100% be repurchasing this when I run out. Um, yeah, I can't recommend this more. Um, my next few bits are makeup related, so I'm gonna show you two first that were in my last favorites video and then two that are newer. So the first one is the Alchemist palette. So of course you guys all know what the Alchemist palette is. It's from Kat Von D. It retails for £25 and it's, re I say recently, it came out in May in the UK. But obviously the Americans had it way before us. We got to see every tutorial under the sun with this freaking palette. I was, I'm, so, I'm so mad that all this stuff comes out in America way before we can get our hands on it and then when we can get our hands on it here it's sold out within two fucking minutes you barely get a chance to get anything like her liquid lipsticks wolf and dagger I want so badly and I didn't even know they were available in the UK I saw them on the website went to buy them and they were out of stock they've been out of stock for like a month now like I'm so fucking mad but anyway, so the Alchemist palette, I am obsessed with this. So you get your four shades, your emerald, sapphire, amethyst and opal, and I love it. I can't recommend this more. I'm contemplating getting a second palette so that I never have to be without it. So if anything happens to this one, I have a backup because I love it so much. I have it on my eyes today. I've got the sapphire shade um, layered over black eyeshadow and I love it. Also the eye makeup is inspired by Tori Biohazard who I spoke about in my empties video. Um, she posted a look like super similar to this on her Instagram and I believe she filmed a tutorial on it also. So that's who this look is inspired by. Um, yeah and the lipstick is Makeup Academy's Luxe Lip 
thing in um, Splash. Not a favourite, just information. Um, right, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the Gosh Exceptional Wear Foundation in number 11 Porcelain. I'm not wearing this today, I'm wearing Kat Von D, but this is my everyday go-to foundation. Um, I freaking love this foundation, it's so good. So, um, on days when I'm just going to work or I'm just, I don't know, popping out for a little bit, I'm not filming and not like going out, out, I just need like a general foundation to pop on. I used to use a L'Oreal one, but they're not cruelty free, so once that ran out, I stopped, I wasn't going to repurchase it, so I wanted something that's drugstore, available in the UK, and like cost effective um, and so this is $7.99 this was recommended on Frick, I can't remember her name I'll link her down below um, she is another British youtuber and she lives super near me actually which is weird I've seen her around a couple of times um, and she recommended this foundation on her channel so I was like I'll give it a go I mean she's super pale like I am so I thought I'll give it a go and this is such a good foundation the color like it doesn't look like when you look at the label obviously don't base it off of the label but it doesn't look that light to me and when I looked at it in store, I was a bit like, mm, I don't know, but it blends in seamlessly to my skin. The coverage is good. It's not like super 100% full coverage, but it's good coverage. I feel comfortable wearing this. Like, I really, really love this foundation. I'm so happy I bought it. My newer favourites this month, the first one is a little odd. It is IPA, isopropyl alcohol, um, and this huge freaking container. So I got this for $9.99 from Amazon um, and I use this to clean my makeup brushes. So um, obviously in between um, looks, especially if I do things like this where I use a lot of colour or a lot of dark products, um, when I go to do my next look I want to be able to clean my brushes. I'm super lazy when it comes to um, cleaning them. I have so many that it is just a struggle. This you see right here, this is half of the brushes that I own. Like I have a lot. <laughs> a bit of a hoarder. Um, so I want something quick and easy that I can easily clean and I learned about this in my makeup classes at university. Uh, we have tons of this stuff at uni. Um, so I thought I'd buy my own and so I put this in, I pour some of the alcohol, literally use the tiniest amount, you don't need loads um, because obviously it works really well, um, doesn't damage your brushes, that's another thing, um, so you don't need loads. So I've had this for two or three months now and like I still have so much left. Um, so I pop it in one of these, this is, I got this from Poundland, you, it's for like um, mixing like bleach and hair colouring and stuff like that. So I just pour some into this, swirl my brush around, then take some kitchen roll, dry off the brush and like I'm ready to go. So um, if you see me in makeup tutorial go, let me just clean my brush and then I'm back instantly. A, it's because I'm filming so I can just cut this thing, but B, it's because it's so freaking quick to use this technique. So. If you are like me and you really enjoy makeup, you experiment a lot, you do a lot of looks, or even just day to day, you need to clean your brushes, I recommend getting some of that alcohol. I'll link it down below where I got mine from because it is so useful. It's also useful if you are a makeup artist, you have clients, you need to be able to sanitize your brushes correctly in between clients, like it's so useful. So my last makeup favorite for this month is by e.l.f. I don't actually know what this product is called. Fuck. Um, literally, all it says on there is ELF. There's no other writing on here. Um, it came in a box, in a case type thing. Not a case, just like packaging. Um, so it would have said it on there. I think it's like a high definition powder. I'm not entirely sure. But basically, it is a white, if you guys could see the amount of powder that just came out of that. It's a white translucent powder that comes with a little puff. Puff, puff, puff. <laughs> oh my god, so much powder. Um, and what I really like about it is that it's got this twist top that I haven't had on any of my other powders. So you twist it round so you've got the little bit where the powder can come out and then you can twist it again so that you don't lose powder. So um, if you travel um, frequently or whenever, um, so you're going to get the train, you're going to get the bus, whatever, like normally all the powder will collect in the top because there's nothing stopping it from coming out and then you lose half your powder when you open it, it goes everywhere but with this you can lock it so you don't use powder. 
But the main reason I love this is because it makes my skin so pale, it's so soft to the touch, and it's just, the coverage is good, I'm matte, I'm not shiny, it's just amazing, and that's six pounds, like, uh, it was recommended to me by my friend Camilla, um, she says it's better than Laura Mercier, it's better than NARS, like, she is obsessed with that powder, so I was like, I'll take your recommendation, I'll try it, and it was fucking sick, so definitely recommend that. My hair is a mess, my bun is falling down, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> um, right, my last two favourites are more... I don't even know what I would categorise these as, just favourites really. Um, so the first is the Ilford black and white camera. So this is a disposable camera and I bought this from Boots. It was 7 95 8 around that kind of mark. Um, so you get, I think 28 frames. I want to say 28, around 28. Um, so basically all the pictures you take are in black and white, it comes with a flash if you want that. I haven't used the flash yet so I don't know what that's like. But um, I'm really really interested in photography, specifically gothic portraiture or just gothic photography in general. Um, I do have a film camera, if you can, a Canon AE1, but I wanted to um, try a disposable because I really like the look of the disposable camera because everything's not super sharp and perfect and focused and polished. Um, so I really like the look of a disposable camera and I just wanted to try one out in black and white and see what I thought of it really. So I've almost used up all the frames, I have about 8 left, 8 frames left so I'm so excited to finally develop this once I've used up my last bits and see what it's like. So that is my favourite because I didn't even know a black and white disposable camera existed but it does so I'm pretty happy. My last favourite is I've been so into thrifting and charity shopping, antiquing, stuff like that. Where we've moved into a new flat, I just want to decorate it with fuck loads of spooky stuff. Um, so the first favourite is, there is two, I can't find the other one at the moment, I don't know where she is. But basically I bought um, this picture and there was another one that goes with it and she's looking at her and they're just like these weird odd Victorian it's from 1871 these odd pictures and they were in these ugly frames they were like just these ugly square frames and I was like no I don't like it like I love the picture but the, the, the actual frame was wooden um, and I was like I'm gonna buy some better frames for those and then when I was thrifting in a different store in a different city I found these frames these oval frames that are gold and they just look old and cool um, and I found two of these so these were a pound each and the pictures were a pound each so in total it's four pounds so my plan is to pop these in here but obviously she's square and this is oval so I need to back it somehow or do something so if you guys have any advice for this please let me know because I don't want to fuck it up so yeah and what's even cooler is that when I took this out of the frame on the back I found a handwritten letter, um, yeah, on the back of it, which is so cool. I don't know how old this letter is, um, they're talking about a holiday, something to do with the sister has also joined them on this holiday, um, but it's like the letter carries on, but I don't have the other half of it, so that's really fucking cool. Um, yeah pretty cool I am just obsessed with thrifting and finding cool stuff like that so yeah the last few bits I have um, were sent to me by my boyfriend mum she is so lovely so the first is this bag appreciate this fucking backpack so it's from the children's section so the straps are kind of small but luckily I'm small-ish so this fits me fine I can still wear it um, so it's like a clear PVC bag with pink around the edges and then a little shell on the front as a pocket. Um, that opens up and <laughs> I have the Colourpop liquid lipstick in there right now. Um, so it looks like that and then yeah so it's like a kind of mini backpack obviously because it's kids but it's so cute so I keep using this for work at the moment and I just love it so much. This is from Asda um, in the kids bit. How many times do I have to say that? And this was eight pounds. Um, so I saw it on their Facebook page. They posted about it, and I was like, I want that back. 
I want it so bad. And I couldn't find it in my Asda um, in Southampton, I couldn't find it in the one in Chalmers Ford where my mum lives, I literally couldn't find it, it was sold out online. So Jake spoke to his mum about it and asked her if she could see if she could find it and she did and she sent it down and she's so lovely. So I'm so happy I finally have this bag, like I wear it every freaking day, it's so cute. And the last thing, um, again was sent to me by Jake's mum. Um, it's just so cute. So the flat that Jake and I have moved into, this is like our first home together, just me and him, no one else. Um, so she sent us down these key rings. So I have half of it here. I'll try and like not get everything else in it. So this is my half and it's like half a house with a little like woman-y figure in the top and then Jake has the other half and they fit together. How cute is that? Like that is the cutest idea ever. And then on the back she has Blaze engraved in the back with a little kiss and then Jake has his name on his side. Like that is just the sweetest thing ever. I'm so happy. Um, she sent them down in the post and I was just like, I was like almost in tears. I just think that's so adorable. So that is so lovely of her. And now my keys are even cuter. That is it for my favorites video. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it hasn't been too long. I feel like I've been talking all my life. Um, yeah, let me know down below what your favourite thing was you've seen in this video, if you're considering checking out any of these products, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye!